Hey guys, it's CarGuy11. A few weeks ago on the channel, I made a video about the Wooly Warmit wheel cleaning brush. And, you know, I told you it wasn't sponsored. Well, guess what? The, the company actually saw my video, reached out to me on Instagram, which you guys definitely should follow me. There's links below on Instagram or Facebook. And they wanted to know my thoughts and opinions. We had a conference call. It was awesome. I definitely love giving my opinions. I'm an engineer by trade, so uh, great feedback there. So there might be some improvements on the brush. But also, what they did is they decided to send me some other products they sell. So I got the premium microfiber wash mitt, which is like an actual mitt with the thumb. And they sent me their synthetic drying towel so we're gonna try both of these out today I will put the links to their website below so you could check out all their products these again were sent to me by the company this time so uh, let's get into it and see how they do and we're gonna demonstrate these products today on my dirty 2020 Toyota Supra all right let's start with the wash and today I'm using turtle wax carnauba wash and wax I like to get some carnauba on the car and this is the way I get it on uh, I don't use carnauba wax to wax it so this gives a little bit of a slick look to it all right put the nice big mitt on my hand and nice microfiber as I said has the thumb and let's get started very smooth very easy to handle getting in all the grooves rinse it off in the bucket and yeah nice it holds a lot of water holds a lot of suds probably the most challenging parts of washing the Supra is the front end with all of the aero cutouts so let's see how this handles the fake vents <laughs> and the real vents yeah fits in nice you can uh, just wear it on your hand and not worry about missing a spot because it's really thick and absorbent with the suds so no issues getting all into all those small crevices and this makes quick work of washing the car good job woolly warm it all right that was a nice and easy quick wash and what i usually do is open everything up to let the water drain off those large surfaces and i usually go over it with a blower but today we're going to skip that step go right into drying with the woolly warm it drying shampoo let's start with the hood I'm gonna lay out the cloth on top. I wanna to show you before what it looks like with the water droplets. And the cloth has the Wooly Warmit logo on it on the one side. And on the other side, it's this really soft material. It almost feels like cloth, but it is a synthetic material. It is damp, the cloth, and I'm just gonna, look how large it is. I'm gonna extend it out and then we'll pull it and see, look at that. Almost completely dry, left a few spots where it was a little bit wrinkled the towel. It's hard to do this one-handed. Let's uh, fix this up a little bit. yeah pretty nice pretty nice real good very tiny little spots water droplets left behind i don't know maybe a microfiber drying towel is still a little bit better than this but this uh this is also very good easy to use and you can easily wring this out as well all right guys i went over the whole car with the woolly warmant drying towel and it did a pretty good job. I think still I prefer a quality 
microfiber towel. It does absorb a little better, but this does a great job as well. It just leaves very, very small water droplets. You have to keep going over it. So, but another nice thing about the Wooly Warmit, after you're done, no need to let it dry. You just wring out excess water, uh, fold it up, roll it up, and put it in its container, and it's safe to leave in here. It will not get moldy. It has uh, venting in the case here, but you're allowed to put it away wet, so that is a benefit over a microfiber drying towel. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely leave a comment below what you guys use for your vehicle, and check out the products if you're interested it, with the links in the description below. Also, I'll have my Amazon store in the, in the description below for other products I use on the vehicle. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.